Hi everyone. I came here to probably this this video may get me taken off um, YouTube. I don't care. So do you guys know about the Samson option? Um, it's used to describe Israel's strategic massive nuclear retaliation against the enemy nation should it its existence as Jewish state be jeopardized through military attack. Um, they literally have um, ballistic missiles pointed at every city around the world. They could blow up the earth. Hmm. I'll be leaving a lot of links. Now, that's why nobody's really saying much about Palestine, like none of these governments when a genocide's going on. Um, I'm going to leave an article about Iran and the dis the disinfo. And, and I would like to tell you uh, about the, I, I'm going to leave you some more. Israel is the greatest threat to the entire world with the Samson option. Israel says it has nuclear missiles aimed at all cities all over Europe and the United States. Anybody who is hostile towards them. That's why we give them so much damn money. It should be staying here. Um, I'm leaving a, a link on the intercontinental ballistics missiles that they have. They're called ICBMs. And um, it is, if you read this article, um, I, I don't know if this is the one that says that they may have, uh, they have a lot. We don't know how many they have. They don't have to give that information up like everyone else does. Okay. Now, when I speak, oh, that's more on the missiles. I'll leave that. Um, oh, this should piss you off. Christian students to defend Israel abroad. This was a... This was April 16, 2010, and what they did is they had to figure out a way to get Christian students to defend Israel, so they did the PSYOP. Um, it, it's unreal. You'll, you'll have to read this. I'm going to leave the links. Okay, um, Netanyahu, B.B. Netanyahu, in his own words, I'll leave this up here. My opinion of Christian Zionists, those Christians that support um, the Zionists, and these are Khazar Zionists. These aren't real Jewish people. These are the... Khazar Zionist Jews. Um, they're scum, but don't tell them that. We need all the useful idiots we can get right now. That's a quote by Bibi Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm leaving a difference between the Khazars and uh, the real Jews, because I have Jewish friends, and, and I'm not trying to offend you at all. I'm trying to educate people. Okay, I'm leaving some more links on that. Israel wins contract to secure the U.S. border. I've been posting that all over Google. I'm going to leave another link. Um, this is from the rents.com. I, 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 it's like nobody believes what I'm putting up there. Israel is actually, um, I, I actually heard somewhere, and I can't find an article, that they're telling the United States of America, you got to let these people in. The reason they got to let these people in is because there is a genocide going on in South and Central America too. Not just with drug cartels. And I know they've sprinkled the gang members in to create chaos. But, um... The corporations, which are probably owned by Israel, um, e. I'm going to also leave um, U.S.-Mexico relations. And the reason I say that e is because it seems like Israel has their nose in everything, and everything they deal with is death. They kill. I'm also going to leave these companies support Israel, and it says let's support them, but I'm going to say don't support them myself. I will be boycotting every company here. Here's a video I'm going to leave that says boycott these companies. Um, list of Jewish American politicians. I'm going to leave that down for you um, in the links. U.S. Senate supports Israel Gaza incursion. This was in 2009. Senate passes resolution endorsing Israel war crimes by unanimous consent. And this happened uh, just a couple of days ago. Well, I don't see the day. Oh, July 18th, 2014. You think I'm kidding? The enemies are here within our borders, too. They all sit in D.C. and support a country that says, if you don't do what we say, we will blow you up. We have the capacity to do it. While they are genociding people all over the world, they extract resources, they are greedy. These are Khazar Zionist Jews. They're not... I'm not being anti-Semitic. These people are not even Semitic to that region. And they're killing the people that are, just like they'll kill anything. And for Israel, who said the American Indians sympathize with us, I will go find the report. 
that was just put out yesterday that no, we don't. We think you're doing the same thing to the Palestinians as was done to us. So, NSA, I hope you got a good listen. Um, American people, I hope you read the links below. Find out who your enemy is. I'm going to leave the thing of the genocide going on in South and Central America. You can look up those corporations, and I'm sure they go right back to Israel, because Israel does not give a shit. And I'm talking about the Khazar Zionist Israels, uh, Israelites. They do not give a shit what we think we're going um, and uh, to my Jewish friends who I love very much thank you for still supporting me because I know you're not one of them and um, it seems to me and, and I was listening to a video and I should leave it up it, it was Max Egan and he's been to Palestine it seems to me that the Christians would hate the Zionist Israels because they don't believe in Jesus um, more than then the Muslims should, the Muslims and the, I mean, if you looked at it on a broader span, but they're going to always make us have an enemy. Stop using their enemies. You fall for it every time. I fell for it before. We don't fall for Israel's enemies anymore because to Israel, everybody is their enemy. So they're going to create havoc with the Muslims. They're going to create havoc here on the borders. They're going to create havoc in Ukraine and Russia. They're going to create havoc. As long as you don't look at them, as long as chaos is going on and they're controlling it, you never look at them. Well, we better start looking at all those representatives that are so selected to represent us and all that money that pours into Israel doesn't feed the peoples here. If, if we could stop feeding and supporting Israel, we could feed any un, the refugees that are crossing the border because of the genocide happening there. I mean, I know you won't agree with me. You'll say they're illegal immigrants, whatever you want to call it. It wouldn't even be an issue if we didn't have to dole out so much of this artificial, illusionary money to Israel so they can get more weapons to kill more people. So all we do is support killing people. I am one. am not for that. I hope to goodness that you aren't either. I might even leave the link to empathy because empathy means that you can put yourself in someone else's situation. Because it usually comes back on you anyway. So you should be able to do this. And it is a greatness, not a weakness. A weakness is turning a blind eye and then looking in the mirror every day and saying, look at all the stuff I have. That's a weakness. A greatness is saying, oh my, this is horrible. I've got to do something so my children have a good place to live when they get older. And my grandchildren have a place to live and my great-grandchildren have a place to live you got a choice. You better learn the empathy. You better walk out in the woods, look at the trees, the earth, our good living earth. Find some kind of spiritual meaning. Don't use a savior syndrome. They love that. Use your own common sense. Use some reason. Step out of all the boxes for a few minutes, all the boxes of constraints. Go outside and figure out this earth was put here for all of us, not for one nation who says they're the chosen people. And they have already, they're not even the real Jewish people. They are Khazar Zionist terrorist. Now I'll probably get taken down if I do. I got a backup channel. Love you guys.